Hello guys, Shubham here. So two weeks ago, we reviewed a ROM called as the Arrow OS ROM where we got to know that we are now finally getting Android 13 based ROMs. Though that ROM was an official and was kind of beta built, but it looks pretty much good that many other custom ROM communities are jumping into it, taking initiative and building some Android 13 ROM. So just like Arrow OS, we have another community called as the Project Alexa. So this is the official ROM from the community itself and let's see how to flash this amazing ROM. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So as of very first step, we need some files. And those files are the ROM zip itself and that you can get easily from this telegram channel. The link to this channel will be provided down in the description box below. So here you can see this notification showing that the version 3.0 of official Android 13 ROM of Project Alexa where everything is written that you will get DFE out of the box, it is official but a beta build and here we click on the download button. Once you click on it, you will be landed on the official site of the Project Alexa. Just scroll down and soon you will be able to see the download link for your favorite Android 13 ROM. So here we go. Now just click on download build. Now further it will take you to the Pling website where you just have to navigate to files and download the very first version 3.0 link. Just simply click on it. After clicking on this you will get to know that the download has been started. So over here the download has been started but I am clicking on cancel because I have already downloaded this file. And now let's move to the main part that is the file explorer and see what all files are yet to be needed. So this is the ROM file and another this is the firmware. Make sure you surely flash firmware as this is quite initial step while installing Android 13 ROM. Jumping towards the TWRP, we have successfully booted into it. Just click on wipe and click on advanced wipe and wipe all the partitions as shown such as Dalvik, Cache, System, Vendor and Data. Just wipe to confirm flash and here you go, your partitions are wiped successfully. Now just go back and navigate to the folder where your ROM has been downloaded and before that navigate to the folder where your firmware has been stored. Now just select the firmware as you need to flash it. This is the folder where I have stored and now clicking on it I have selected this firmware file as I need it to flash. Then click add on more zips and then navigate to the folder where your ROM has been downloaded. This is this file. This is project alexa rom.zip file. Once you select all those two zips just swipe to confirm flash. Once you do that as you can see that your flashing process has been started and here comes the flashing of our ROM. The flashing of our ROM will take about 5 to 10 minutes so have some patience and wait patiently as the ROM will take some time to get flashed successfully. So jumping forward you can see that our ROM has been flashed successfully and all these successful nodes which shows that our phone is all set to boot into system. Click back and reboot to system and wait until you see the changes regarding boot animation and much more. So here our phone is getting booted and this is some not so new but kind of different boot animation of project Alexa. So booting will take about 2 to 3 minutes so wait until then. Let's fast forward and jumping back where you can see this is some basic android setup where you get in all, all the custom rom. It's good that on selecting english now you can get the english india language. Moving further you can just set up your device as you do usually when you first boot a fresh ROM. Now in my case let me set up my device which has been booted into Android 13. So as you can see that our phone has been set up successfully with all the basic setup. Scrolling from up you can see this all the options and this some um, new which is active apps you get in android 13 
Now let's explore some of the settings and some features as a first look towards this ROM. So the UI is pretty much good moving to the about phone section. Here you can see in about phone you can see it's uh, regarding the ROM, the community and tapping on the Android 13 you will get this easter egg. So pretty much good and pretty much obvious. So this shows that our ROM has been booted successfully and the security patch of 5th of August 2022 which is something good and which is the latest one. Tapping on Elixir version happens nothing. Moving further you can see this is something the device name and all the other options which you get in all the ROM right from Android 10 to 12. So pretty much interesting the UI seems very much friendly and much responsive as a first look and this is something called customizations. It shows welcome to essence and everything is very much cozy and very much comfortable. This is some volume panel options which you get uh, and there's not much changes in it. The touch response is pretty much good and fingerprint sensors works pretty fine and good. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Let me know in comment section below if you want complete review of this ROM. Until then, see you again in the next one. Peace out.